How's it going everyone? Welcome to the Old School Weekly Recap. Let's take a look back at the past 7 days. First things first, this week's game update. A brand new master level quest is now live in game, making friends with my arm. On a mission to establish relations with the newly discovered troll town of Vice, my arm is heading far north to share the knowledge of the mountain trolls. If you choose to assist him, you'll learn of the troll technologies discovered in Vice that make the fire making skill useful. But first, you'll need to deal with my arm's infatuation with a troll maiden and a plot to kill the wise old man. To begin making friends with my arm, you must meet the following requirements. Completion of My Arm's Big Adventure, Swan Song, Cold War, and Romeo and Juliet. Level 66 Fire Making, 68 Agility, 72 Mining, 35 Construction, and finally, you must not be afraid of nasty trolls. If you tick all of those boxes, you can start the quest by talking to Burnt Me in the kitchen deep within the troll stronghold. As always, there were also minor tweaks and bug fixes included in this week's update. You can find a link to the news post in the description. Next up, an announcement which I know you have all been eagerly aware waiting. On Wednesday, Jagex announced the release date for Old School RuneScape Mobile on both iOS and Android devices. For anyone unaware, the Old School Mobile app offers full cross-platform play with PC, allowing you to pick up from where you left off at home when you are out and about. The full release will be taking place on October 30th, after which you will be able to trade fighting boredom for fighting monsters regardless of where you might be. The app is completely free, as long as we aren't counting any hit to your productivity caused by unlimited access to Old School. Pre-order the app on the App Store or pre register on Google Play and you'll be notified the minute the app is released. You can find a link to the announcement post with all the details and relevant links in the description. This Saturday marks the start of the Deadman Autumn Finals. The tournament worlds will be opening at 3pm BST and will remain open until the conclusion of the finals on Saturday the 15th of September. The Autumn Final includes a number of impactful changes which are sure to spice things up over the course of the next week and could turn the permadeath stage on its head entirely. PvP weapons will be available from a global wilderness drop table. The PvP armors will not be included in the finals, but will be available during the winter season. In previous Deadman finals, the set effect of Varax made it a very popular choice for players in the 1v1 portion of Permadeath. However, in the Autumn finals, it will no longer be possible to receive a Varax Flail as a Barrow's reward, making the set effect unattainable. Also, many big ticket items from around the game have had their drop rates increased. Now, these are the only changes which I'm going to be covering in this video, but there are many more listed on the Deadman tournament page linked in the description. With Varax out of the picture, big drops becoming more common, and the introduction of PvP weapons, we are in for a spectacular and very unique permadeath stage. Tune in over on twitch.tv forward slash oldschoolrs at 8pm BST on Saturday the 15th of September to watch the fog roll in and the survivors battle it out for the $20,000 grand prize. A handful of tickets to attend the event in person are still available. If you are interested, grab them while you can. There is a link in the description. And to finish off the recap, let's take a look at some exceptional PVM achievements in the Community Spotlight. First up, we have Adwam, who was featured in a Community Spotlight back in July for completing the Inferno at level 59 combat. Well, he is at it again, this time with the first Tuzkal Zuk kill on mobile. Now, he didn't do the entire Inferno on mobile, just wave 66 and above, but this is very impressive nonetheless, and I'm sure it's just a matter of time. Yeah, boys! Now, when you think of incredible PVM achievements, one name is bound to come to mind. And no, I'm not talking about the big bad bird slayer Modaiza. Of course, I'm talking about Wooks, who earlier this week was doing what he does best, making us all look like fools with his complete domination of old school mechanics. This week, Wooks became the first old school player to successfully solo the Theatre of Blood. Yes! Finally! We got it! Finally! Third time is the charm. 1 hour 16 minutes, 30 minute versic. Congratulations to Adwam and Wooks. I'm sure this isn't the last time we'll be hearing either of those names. That concludes this week's recap. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great week and I will see you next Friday.